Hey guys, Shaven Butcher here. I'm uh, I'm in uh, the heartland of Sweden, Dalsland today, visiting Laugar. Let's see if we can get a yeah. Look, there's the corporate car. <laughs> Laugar is run by Nina, and uh, I don't know if you can see the countryside. It's beautiful here. Really, really the heartland of of Sweden. One of it anyway. So here's the. Uh, Here's the soap studio. Sorry for the poor filming technique. We're gonna go inside and see if Nina is around. Hey Nina. Hi Johan. Hi, nice this is Nina. You. Nina of Lauga. And this is the soap studio, is that what we call it? Oh. With soaps everywhere. <laughs> so Nina, you make uh, shaving soap and you make olive soap for, for other purposes as well. You make all kinds of things. Yeah, I do. I do. And I don't make so many different, different kinds of soaps. As long as the ones you make are good. And this is yeah. where it's all, this is where it's cooked. Mm. Or if it yeah, isn't cooked, it's, 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 it's cold process. And I'm not going to ask because I know it's, it's a secret. But this is also the... Top secret. Top secret. And this is also the store where, uh, where you can go on every... Every Wednesday it's open house, so you can come here and uh, smell the beauties, right? Yeah, and you can test the soaps. Okay. Um, for example, today we have visitors from, from uh, Gothenburg, two hours drive. <laughs> That's out really far. To the middle of nowhere. <laughs> to the beautiful countryside. We've actually had some lathering fun here in the <laughs> sink, so we're all prepared. Mm. So Nina, you make uh, you make shaving soaps. We've seen uh, we've seen a few of them. I think I've used it on one video. Matti uses them. I think Frank has used them as well. What do you make? How many how many shaving soaps do you have in your mm. repertoire? Only, only three. Only three. Only three. But they are quite good. Is it the and same soap base? It's the same soap base, and it's a vegan soap. Um, and they have. Three different um, scents. Okay. Scents. Scents. Uh, and the scents are all. Uh, are are they all uh, essential oils or what do you? Put it's in essential them? oils. Okay. Yes. So the real stuff. Only. Um, I do. This is where I make the soaps. Yeah. Um, today it's Wednesday, and so that I don't make any soaps then. At Wednesday, uh, Wednesday. But I've been here bothering you for two hours, so you have been you have been busy. I've been busy, yeah. Even have some other customers. Too. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I do labels and I fix other things. This is uh, the artwork, and it's quite quite Nordic, Nina, Scandinavian. Hmm. Nina is from Norway, which uh, normally we would hold against her in Sweden, but she emigrated and she lives here now, and she makes and awesome I'm, soap, I so it's okay. This is this is um, the great of the big news. But I'm I'm now a Swedish citizen. Oh, you're so oh, good for you. We've won one over. Really cool artwork. A very what I was gonna say. Very Nordic, Scandinavian, uh, uh, understated. Uh, really nice. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. So what what are the three different uh, shaving soaps then? Mm. The first one is Hulderheim, and okay. it's without essential oils. Does Hulderheim mean anything? Hulderheim, yeah. <clears throat> yes, it does. Huldra is the Norwegian forest nymph. Ah. Huldra. Okay. And Heim means home. home. All right. So it's the home of Huldra. She's very sensitive. And we have the... Where is she? Skogsroff. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Skogsro is, um, is the Swedish uh, forest nymph mm -hmm. mm. and she is as Hulra, beautiful women luring men into the forest. So beautiful and treacherous at the same mm. time, you've got to mm. be careful. But Hulra, the Norwegian forest nymph, she is more sensitive. Ah, okay. Mm, more what is the scent of Eldans then? Eldans is, is it's a blend of uh, lemongrass Cedar tree, cedar wood, uh, rosemary, and a little little bit eucalyptus. Okay. So I, I think I'm 
satisfied with the with the, the scent and it's well balanced. I agree. I I really like it and uh, it's a balance. It's not a super strong scent compared to uh, very strong <laughs> smelling scents. But it's, it's nice and it, it sort of evolves when you lather it up on your face. Mm. Yeah, that was Albdance. Yeah. The scent of Albdance. Yeah. yeah. And Albdance, it's the nature phenomenon. You have, when you have the, the, the mist and the fog in the morning, you know, when it's dancing on the fields or, right. or, or with the legs. And that's the elves who is dancing. Cool. So it was my like, mm, what does it smell this? So I, I tried to... So your imaginations, you, you decide the sense? Yeah. Okay, very cool. I, didn't, I decide everything. Of course. I'm the boss. Mina is the boss, <laughs> soap maker, CEO, and... Uh, yeah, and over. Web, uh, web uh, shop, uh, I'm maintaining everything. We'll put links to... Uh, you've got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Do you have any content on it? No. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> when you do, we'll put a link. We'll we'll put a link to the to the website. Mm. Can people buy soaps from all over the world, or mm. are you limited in where you ship? <clears throat> Almost. It it works like this. I've started with a the, the countries, the, the the neighbor countries like Finland and Norway, Denmark, Germany, and I. I fill up. I yeah, yeah. I get these emails. Then I try to order your soap from uh, from uh, US. I I count. Ah. I was like, okay, hey, give me give me a day or two. Okay. And then I have to log into this uh, WooCommerce. You're and probably being too kind. Okay, but there are opportunities even if you live far away, like in America. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't sell to Brazil. I don't sell to China. Okay. I don't sell to Russia. Okay. Because I have read that it's very complicated and they have strict rules. Right. So maybe just a custom just take the, the package and well, throw that would it away. Be, that would be no fun. Hmm. Cool. In China you have to test your products on animals. It's not allowed <laughs> to, okay. to sell cosmetic in China if they're not tested in on animals. Interesting. In Europe it's not allowed to test cosmetic products on animals and it's not you don't so we don't have to to, to, to write in every commercial or every Facebook that it's not tested on animals it's mm. not it's against the law right and we're used to that but okay so this China it's the other way around yes so I, I avoid uh, it's a big country yep um, I don't know how big so the soap market is so if every Chinese want to buy a Logar soap yeah wow could be tough we'll yeah. see <laughs> you uh, do you have plans to make any more shaving soaps? Yeah, I have plans. Mm. Always have plans, and it takes time. It takes time to decide the scent, and you have to, yeah, to find the scent to who is selling that people like. Really. And you, you, you told me before you spend quite a bit of time thinking about stuff and not just doing so. Creating scents, uh, it sounds like you do it kind of to create the feeling, like the fog dancing on the field or the, yeah, the, the, the mystical the, animal. Yeah, it's a feeling. I said, the, 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 the sh sh shaving soaps, mm -hmm. they are my babies and I, I love to, to make them. And if someone buys it, I'd be very happy. Yeah. Uh, and of course, I want to make the best soap in the world. but. At the moment, it's the best in Dalsland, for sure. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm the only good. one. We do like it. Yeah. We do like it. Yeah. I promise to use it more. Yeah. So, the, the scents I'm working with now, it's um, kind of... Can you tell us, but then you have to kill us, or...? Uh, yeah, yeah, and I have to break your camera. <laughs> camera and legs, probably. Uh, we, we, can, we can say it like this, that I'm working with... One, a bit um, dark one. Mm. Dark one, not said not heavy, but more earthy. Yeah, mm. okay. it smells like the moisture forest. Okay, forest. quite masculine. I like it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> maybe it's masculine. Men and women. Mm, no, it's a it's a masculine, but and and it, this is a more freezing. 
fresh. fresh. Okay. Fresh. Probably has some of that M stuff in it. Mm. Or uh, maybe I would just. No. No. So it's it's um, it takes time. It's a process. It's yeah. a process, and I. It's my. Okay. It's your baby, it's, so it's emotional as well to some extent, um, I guess. Yeah, and and I find inspiration in the old Norse, the fairy tales, mm. saga, in in Norwegian. Yeah, cool. Aventure, uh, and I, I I have to find a some kind of emotion or feelings, a sensation, feeling. and, it's, and, mm -hmm. and then it's like. So it's it's already got the names. Okay. For sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you need to find the mix of scents to match the name. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very and good. I'm ninety nine percent sure. So I already put it on the cosmetic portal with the names and everything. Cool. Still a secret. But it takes time. Yeah. Weeks, months. And every time you make a new product, you have to have it approved and registered, and that takes time and it costs a bit of money. So you, right? Regulations yeah. are pretty strict. It's yeah, it's the same in in Europe, mm. at least. I don't know the the rest of the world, but in in Europe we have to uh, quite strict yeah. strict yeah. Uh, rules, and if you don't do that, you can have. You have to pay some bills and maybe they can close your shop. And no good. No good. You have a shaving brush that you show, that you sell as well. Do you want to show us that? Yeah. Do you want to see the test? I think it's nicer. My test brush. I actually use this one. Yeah, it's wet. It's still wet. You destroyed it. No. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's a cool looking one. So it's a bad, it's a 28 millimeter badger knot. Mm. And... Uh, there's the logo. What's so, what? Handle is wood, yeah. It's wood. It's birch. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's cool because it, the handle is round, like a ball. Mm. Really nice in the hand, and I don't think I've seen that before. Cool. Pretty mm. cool. It's a badger. Yep. Twenty-eight. Yeah. I'm not sure if it, it's a silver tip or. I no. <laughs> you look like I should know. I don't know. Yeah, either. you don't know. But it's uh, it's quite dense, but it has good backbone, but very soft. So mm. super nice, it's very good. nice. Cool. Cool. So shaving soaps, uh, brushes, olive soaps. Here's a dish and cleaning soap as well. So and dishwashing. And you're you're uh, quite creative. Cool. Very good, Nina. Yeah. Anything else we should know about Lauga? Mm. Try the soap, right? Try the soap. You don't. <laughs> you don't have to pronounce it. You should use it. <laughs> how, what, I say Lauga. How, how do you pronounce it? Lauga. 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 Like the in chauffeur or something. Lauga. Lauga. But it's it's the old Norse. Um, with a uh, norrant for having a bath or right. wash, having a bath or washing. Um, cleaning, could, getting clean. Yeah, clean, clean up yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe 1000 years ago they said Laugar. Ah, Laugar. Okay. There is also a, a place in, in Iceland called Laugar. Really? Yeah. Mm. And that's why I put the off Sweden because I wanted it to be a, a registered brand. Yeah. And you can't have it if it's a name of a place or. Ah, okay. So that's why it's off Sweden. Cool. Very nice. Mm. Very nice artwork. Very nice packaging. You have a, a metal uh, jar, metal tin, or yeah. um, which is Don't quite define. quite elegant. And I know over there in the corner there's some secret stuff that there's being worked on. So there might be other kinds of products also for the shaving mm. world. We will see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Logar, the old uh, Saturday, our modern Saturday is named by the Logar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I follow that today. I only wash on Saturdays. <laughs> yes. <laughs> every second Saturday. Yeah, no, uh, every Saturday, whether I need it or not. Mm. My wife usually reminds me. Yeah, yeah. My, my grandpa, he said that I, I having a bath 
before Christmas, whether I need it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe one in the summer. Mm. Well, Nina, very cool. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. I'll I'll turn the camera off. I'll continue sniffing some stuff, and uh, it's been great. Thank you for visiting, and it gives me a lot of inspiration good. And, and energy. Good, good, good. Mm. Okay, cheers. Ciao.